Welcome to the Centre of Key. Today's class is for all gardeners out there, whether you're a seasoned professional that gets out into your garden almost every day, or whether you're just a complete beginner like me who only goes out every couple of months <laughs> to tend to the garden, then this class is a great way to release tension and really improve our gardening flexibility. We're gonna start seated on our mat. So get your mat out and let's begin. So we're just going to start so you can sit kneeling or cross-legged or if you want to sit on a cushion you can. That's fine. Just rest your hands in your lap for a moment. So we can let the left hand rest on the right perhaps with the thumbs gently touching. And we can just close the eyes for a moment and take a few deep breaths. Hmm. So it'd be lovely to be filming this outside today but it's just a little bit cold and it did rain last night so it's a bit damp. So I am inside filming this class for you this morning. And just connecting with your breathing. All right, so let's breathe in, sweep the arms up, opening up through the chest and exhale, bring the arms down. And again, big breath in, sweep the arms up and exhale. Let's do one more. Big breath in, sweep the arms up and exhale back down. <sighs> Lovely. And we're just going to do a few shoulder rolls. So big, take the shoulders up and back, big squeeze. And keep breathing as you're moving. <sighs> Good. And then take the shoulders the other way. Big circles, trying to release any tension from the upper body. Ah, good. Take a breath in now. And as you exhale, squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears. Keep breathing out. And then inhale, let them relax. Exhale, squeeze the shoulders up towards your ears. Nice, strong squeeze. And then inhale, let it relax. Do one more. Exhale, squeeze up as strongly as you can. Try to get your ears and shoulders to touch. And then inhale, let that go, lovely. All right, so let's take the right arm out, reach around with your left hand for your fingers, take a breath in, exhale, pull the fingers back nice and strongly, stretch through that arm, inhale, flatten the hand, exhale, pull the fingers down now, so hold above the knuckles, so you're gonna get this stretch through the wrist joint. Inhale, flatten, exhale, pull back, inhale, flatten, Exhale, pull down. One more each way. Inhale, center. Exhale, pulling back. Breathe in center. Exhale, pulling down. Lovely. Give that hand a bit of a shake. Other side. Reach it out. Take a breath in. And exhale, pull the fingers back strongly. Try and push through the heel of the hand so the arm gets even longer. Inhale, flatten. Exhale, pull down. Make sure you're holding over those knuckles. Give the wrist a stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, pull back. Breathe in center, exhale, pull down. One more each way, inhale, exhale, pulling back. Breathe in center, exhale, pulling down. Lovely, and give that hand a little shake. Excellent stuff. All right, so hands into lace now. Turn the palms away and just take your hands onto the top of your head. We're gonna stretch the arms up, so take a breath in. And exhale, push your hands up towards the ceiling. Feel the sides of the body lift, feel the armpits open. Breathe in hand to head. Exhale, pressing up and away. One more, breathe in hands to head. And exhale, lifting up, lifting up. Squeeze the hands higher. Lovely, and then just float your arms down. Good, all right, so we wanna sit cross-legged if we can, if you're not already. If you need to sit on something, you can get a blanket or a cushion and, and sit on top of that, just your bottom. So take the knees out to the sides. Lovely. And we're just going to do a little side stretch here. All right. So taking your breath in, as you exhale, place one hand down and take the top arm over. And I want you to stretch through your fingertips and push down through that hip at the same time so the side gets even longer. Breathe in, come back, and let's do the other side. Arm reaching over, so don't let the arm flop. Keep the arm as straight as you can. Stretch fingertips to hip. Inhale, come down. 
Exhale, going over, stretch, feel the side of the body open. Don't look down, keep looking forwards. Um, reaching further. Breathe in, bring it back, one more. And exhale, take it over, stretch fingertips to hip, side of the body getting longer. Beautiful stuff. And then bring it back down, lovely. So we're gonna take the legs out, straight. So sitting with legs out. We're just going to do a little, little twist. So let's bend one knee up, doesn't matter which one. Um, and we're just going to hold on to that knee first. And I want you to lift up through your spine as you hold on to the knee. All right, the other leg is straight, pull your toes back. And just relax your shoulders. So we don't want to be squeezing shoulders up. Yeah, shoulders stay down. All right, and we're going to turn to the bent knee. So the opposite hand, so this is my left knee. I'm going to use my right hand on the knee and I'm going to take my left hand behind. So I'm twisting to the bent knee side, yeah? So taking a breath in, and exhale, pull yourself to the bent knee. So your belly is twisting towards the bent knee thigh. And then breathe in, just turn to look forwards, and then exhale, turning to that side. You can wrap your elbow around the knee if you like. Breathe in, coming back. And one more, exhale, twisting around, now pull the back shoulder back, try to look behind you, squeeze the belly more to the bent knee, front leg here, and then gently unravel. All right, let's do that on the other side, I'm going to flip around, so I'm not got my back to you. So holding the bent knee, this is now my right knee, and I want to lift up through the spine as I pull on the knee, make my spine nice and tall. All right, so we're gonna hold, left hand holding right knee, right hand coming behind. Take a breath in, lift up, and exhale, pulling to the bent knee side. So pulling the shoulder back. Inhale to center, and exhale, pulling around. So my belly is twisting to this front leg that's bent. Inhale, bring it back one more, and exhale, twisting around, pull the shoulder back, Looking over your shoulder, keep the straight leg, toes back, squeeze the belly around more, and then gently coming all the way back. Lovely. And let's lie down here. So move this cushion out of the way. And lie down on the back for a moment. So just a little rest. Just feel what we've already done. Take a few breaths in and out. <sighs> Softening. Feeling that warmth through the middle of the body. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Beautiful. All right, so let's interlace the hands behind the head. If that's too strong for your shoulders, just take the arms out, palms down, hands in line with the shoulders. Okay, but if we can, hands are to lace, bending the knees up. So knees and ankles together, chin is tucking to the chest. Take a breath in and exhale, squeeze your knees over to the right. Keep the knees together. Push that top hip across so you feel the side of the body open. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the left side now. And push the hip across. Make sure the knees stay squeezing. Inhale to center. Exhale, going over. Feel the side open, feel the belly squeeze. Breathe in, up, exhale, knees going over. Elbows don't lift, keep the elbows on the floor. Inhale, up. let's do six faster. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Fantastic, all right, coming back to center. I'm gonna step the feet wide now. And if you can, reach for your ankles. If you can't, grab your ankles, then press your palms down. Just note if your feet turn outwards, turn them in slightly. Yeah. Chin tucking to the chest. Feel the neck stretch. All right. So take a breath in. And on the breath out, we lift the hips up. So squeeze the belly up towards the ceiling. Breathe in bottom all the way to the floor. And exhale, up we go again. Make sure the heels stay pressing down. So if you need to, just press your hands down, push your heels into the floor. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, press 
sing up, belly stretching, back squeezing, neck lengthening. Inhale to the floor, just two more like that. And exhale, squeezing up, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Inhale, coming down, last one. And exhale, lifting, press the hips high, push through and up. And then gently coming all the way back down. Lovely, just let that go for a moment. Relax your arms and legs. Feeling that openness through the front of the body. So it's great to get out in the garden, of course. Pull some weeds, dig, do some digging, plant some things. Really, really nourishing for your mind, body and soul. Um, but you can leave us feeling a bit stiff and sore afterwards. So really important to do some stretching after, whether it's this yoga class what are some other stretches that you enjoy um, and know bring relief to those tight spots as a result? So this class is really to work on those specific areas um, that will be affected as a result of spending time in the garden. So maybe there's a couple of specific stretches from this class that you'd like to do more regularly when you get out in the garden. All right, so. We're going to take the arms out to the sides this time with the palms down. Just make sure your hands aren't above your shoulders, yeah? So hands in line. We're going to bend the knees up again. And we want to lift the feet off the floor to make a right angle with the knees. So knees are glued. Just make sure the knees aren't over the chest or the belly. Knees stay over the hips. Toes are back. Take a breath in. And exhale, taking your knees over to one side. Keep them together. Push the hip across. Press the opposite shoulder back to the floor. Breathe in up to centre. And then exhale, take the knees to the left side. Now squeeze across, shoulders back, palms are down. Breathe in up to centre. Exhale over, squeeze those knees together strongly so they don't come apart. Breathe in up. Exhale, go the other way, over the body. Two more, breathe into centre. Exhale, squeezing over, toes are still back, chin to the chest, breathe in centre, and exhale, going the other way, and breathe in to come up, lovely, and then let your legs go again, just lie there for a moment, feeling some warmth in the belly, sides starting to open, All right, so knees to chest, squeeze them in, holding on, take a breath in, and exhale, pulling your head to your knees, come and try to get the head and knees to touch, inhale, come back, even if they're nowhere near that, that's fine, exhale, squeeze, drawing in, one more, inhale, bring it back, and exhale, squeezing up, let's rock and roll a few times along the spine, and then coming all the way up onto the hands and the knees. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Yeah, good. All right, so plug down through your arms, draw your belly button in slightly, taking your breath in, and on the exhale, we're going to just stretch one leg out behind. So point the toes away. We don't want the leg right up here, basically in line with your back is good. Push down through the hands. Breathe in, bring it back. Exhale, take the other leg out straight. Point the toes. Push down through the hands. Good. Inhale, bring it back. This time we're going to do opposite arm and leg. So stretch away. So arm is glued to your ear. Toes are pointing. If it's too strong to lift the arm, then just focus on the leg instead. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, opposite arm and leg. Stretch it out and away. Fingers reaching, toes pointing. Inhale, back. Exhale, extend. Inhale, back. Exhale, extend and lengthen. Good. Inhale, back. Just one more each side. Exhale, extend, but we're going to hold for about three or four breaths. So fingers getting longer, toes are pointing, belly drawing in. Breathing, deep breaths through the nose if you can. 
Plug down through the hand on the ground. Lovely. All right, bring that back. And let's do the other side. So take a breath in. And exhale, stretching. Fingertips reaching, toes pointing. Arm getting longer. Plug down through the hand on the ground. Breathe through your nose. Squeeze into the belly. Lovely. And then bring that back down as well. Bring your knees together. Weight is over your hands and look about a meter in front of you. So imagine your upper body is in a vice. You can't move your arms, your shoulders. Take a breath in and as you exhale, your hips drop to one side. So shoulders don't move. Weight stays over the hands. Inhale up. Exhale, hips drop the other way. Breathe in up. Exhale, hips drop. Just loosening. Inhale up, exhale, hips drop. Keep looking forwards and up to six little bounces. One and two, three, four, five and six. And coming back to center. Good. So we're going to bring one foot in front. So you can come onto your fingertips if you like or just sit up, stand up. We're going to step one knee in front, okay, into a kind of a lunge position and we're just going to rest the hands on that thigh and sink down. Now as you sink down just check this knee in front isn't coming really far forwards. Try to keep the knee and ankle aligned and we're going to stretch through this back thigh here. So sinking down now shoulders relax looking forwards. Just a few breaths feeling the stretch through this back Thigh. Don't sag the body, keep the body engaged, so the belly button drawing in. And if you want to go a little bit stronger, we can sweep the arms up. Hands are shoulder width, palms are facing in. And if you want, you can slightly look upwards, so a bit of an arch through the back. Feeling that stretch through the back thigh, the hip flexor. Keep pressing down through the front foot. Squeezing into the lower body. Lovely. And then bringing that back, we're going to bring the fingertips down if we can. And then straighten through that front leg, pull the toes back. And we want to stretch through the spine, so lengthen the crown of the head towards the in front of you. And we're feeling the stretch now through the back of this front thigh. If you can get the hands flat, then flatten them. If you can't, balance on something. If you need some something a bit higher to hold on to, then grab a couple of books or something if you have something handy. But we don't want to just sort of drop the body. We want to keep the spine lengthening. As long as you're feeling some stretch through this back area here, the back of the leg and the buttock, that's good. That's what we're after. Just a couple more breaths here. Softening into it. Allow the buttock to relax. Beautiful. All right, so coming back. Gently, gently, gently. Bring that knee in. And we'll do the other side. So if you need to, just start from here. Step that foot in front. Slide it slightly forwards. And then we sink down. So we feel this stretch through here. And we can put the hands on the knee to start with. Check your heel and knee alignment there. Draw the belly in, we don't want to sag. Couple of breaths. Feeling that stretch through the hip flexor. Quite nice. If you want to go a little further, bring your arms down. Take them up. Hands facing inwards, hands shoulder width. Maybe slightly looking upwards. Just feeling the front of the body open a little bit more. If it's too strong, then just keep the hands on the knee. A couple more breaths. Squeeze the belly in gently. Press down through the foot in the front. Lovely. And then we come up and we take the fingers down towards the floor. Straighten through that front leg now. Lengthen the crown of the head forwards. 
back of the thigh, this thigh here, getting a nice stretch. A few more breaths. Extending head forwards, feeling the back of the leg open. Draw the belly button in as you exhale. Lovely stuff, All right? And then gently bring it back, slide that foot in, and we'll just do a quick little child's pose. So curl up into a ball, head to the floor, knees slightly apart, let your belly soften in between. And that should feel quite nice now. And then slowly curling up. So the hips and the thighs and the legs get a really good workout when we're gardening, we're digging, we're bending, um, you know, raking, anything like that where we're moving. And so it's really good to stretch and open these joints afterwards. Now this next one uh, is we have a variation that's slightly easier and one that's slightly more advanced. So the easier version looks like this. We have one hand on the back with the fingers pointing down. The other hand is resting on the thigh. We take a breath in and on the exhale we push the hips forward and take the arm next to the ear and we're squeezing the hips in front and then inhale coming all the way back we'll do that on the other side so the easy version hand on the back fingers pointing down other hand on the thigh take a breath in and exhale push the hips forward with your hand and stretch that arm next to the ear as best you can fingertips lengthening and then coming back down. So if you want to stay there with that version, you can. If you want to go a little stronger, we try and grab the ankle and take a breath in. And exhale, push the hips forward again, keeping hold of the ankle and stretching that arm away. If that's too strong, then just come back to this one with the hand on the back. Inhale, bring it down with control. Let's swap the hands over. Exhale, press the hips forward, stretch the arm next to the ear, fingertips reaching. And we do one more each side. Inhale back, so either stay with the hand on the back or hand on ankle. Exhale, push the hips forward, stretch, feel the front of the body open. Breathe in, bring it back, squeeze the bottom to come down. And exhale, swap it over, so other side, stretching. And then bring it back, squeeze the bottom to come all the way down. Lovely. And again, just a quick little child's pose. Curl up into a ball. Let that be. For a few breaths. Good, all right, and then slowly curl up through your spine, coming all the way up. All right, so this next one, I would recommend you get a cushion or a blanket or something that you can use. We're gonna do a supported squat. So if you know you have difficulty squatting, then yeah, grabbing something to use is a really good idea. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come over to here where the, I've got this cushion. And I'm just going to place my heels about, so my legs are about shoulder width. I'm placing my heels on the cushion. So my toes are still on the floor, but my heels are on the cushion. And toes are slightly pointing outwards. And we're going to drop the bottom in between. So my bottom comes to rest on the cushion as well slightly. So I'm not sitting all the way back. I'm still slightly forwards. And if we can, we bring the hands into prayer pose. And we just tuck the forearm or the upper arms onto the inner knees so we can press outwards slightly. So we're just sitting here for a few breaths, try to lift up through the spine. Now, if this is too hard, you could grab a chair, 
you could hold onto a chair and drop down gently so you might be sort of hanging with your bottom dropping and it's just to allow the hips to open a little bit more so squatting very you know traditional cultures all squat heavily in everything they do whether they're eating cooking gardening cleaning you name it they're squatting and it actually is really important to maintain this flexibility through the hip joints and so we just hold and breathe and try and enjoy it you can even hold onto a table the side of a table if you like or a railing if you have a railing on your balcony you can do this hanging and um, you know looking out over your garden from your balcony um, really good way to practice the squat is to use some support so today we're using a cushion to balance the heels on and the bottom and you know you can use other props around your home just to practice this pose so breathe down into your belly you might find that as you hold it a bit longer you start to open up a little more maybe the spine can lift maybe the knees can press outwards use your elbows to push the knees outwards slightly just be gentle with your hips so obviously you know only go as far as is comfortable for you we don't want to create tension like we just want to try and soften rather than tense things up so we just hold and breathe a little longer try and breathe down into your belly maybe all the way down into the pelvic floor area and gradually the body starts to relax into it if there's any pinching or discomfort like that then please back off we don't want to if it's really painful then please just note that um, as something to go gently with a couple more breaths just sinking bottom downwards opening up through those hip joints lovely all right and then let's come out just bring your hands forwards oh, take the bottom up remove whatever it is you were using as your prop and we're going to lie down on the back ah oh, just let the legs go let your arms go oh, and just let that be take a few breaths there give the hips a moment to restabilize themselves So squatting is something that you know we did easily as a child um, but just as we get older and stiffer it becomes harder and harder and harder but if we just practice it some more again it will come back all right so we're going to bend the knees again let's reach down for those ankles i'm just going to open up through the front so feet parallel chin to chest take a breath in and exhale squeeze the hips up push down through the heels opening up through the front of the body inhale bring it back exhale squeezing up push down through your heels feel the belly stretch more the neck lengthen one more inhale come back and exhale coming up squeezing up squeezing up let's hold for a few breaths so push through the heels, chin to chest, belly rising, press the hips towards the knees slightly. Three more breaths here. Relax the face. Lovely, and then gently lower yourself back to the floor let your arms and legs go again have a little rest let that be breathe down into your belly body relaxing belly softening So we're going to do a little one last little stretch so bring your legs side by side pull your right knee inwards and just hold that for a moment extend out through the leg on the floor with the toes back 
So we're pulling the right knee into the chest, extending the leg out on the ground, pushing the heel away. And then if we want to, we can take the, lower le um, the right lower leg upwards towards the ceiling and just interlace the hands behind the knee and hold here for a few breaths. If you feel you can reach over onto the padding of the foot, then you can hold the foot up, okay? But only do that if you can reach over the toes. If that's a struggle, then just keep holding behind the knee, okay? Just for a few breaths here. If you are holding the foot, then the other hand can rest on the left thigh. Just a few breaths, pushing out through both heels, Softening the face, softening the shoulders. If you're holding behind the knee, then relax your elbows. Try not to tense them up like this. Let them just hang. Lovely, all right, and then release the leg, let it float back to the floor. And just feel that side of your body melt into the mat. Feel the breath move in and out, slowly, deeply. Beautiful, all right, bring your legs side by side again. Pull the left knee in now, we're holding that. Extend through the right leg, pull the toes back. Chin is to the chest. Couple of breaths here. <sighs> And then we can slide the hands behind the knee, interlace those fingers, take your left leg up to the ceiling, holding there, relax the shoulders. If you can reach, you can take and hold over the padding of the foot and place the other hand on the right thigh. Tucking the chin inwards, extend through the backs of the legs. Totally fine to be holding the back of the knee here. That's completely fine. It's just not as intense as if you were holding the foot. A couple more breaths here. Extend through both heels. Squeeze the belly in as you breathe out. Lovely, and then release and let that float back to the floor. And we just lie here for a moment. Let the left side relax now gently. Take a few deep breaths. Feeling the breath in the whole body now. Beautiful, all right, so let's bring the knees up, grab and hold of them, take a breath in, and exhale, pulling your head to your knees, and let's rock and roll a few times along the spine, and then coming up to sitting to finish the class today, so I hope you enjoyed it, let's just take a moment to sit tall, to feel the softness through the shoulders, the energy through the hips, the belly and the back, and just acknowledging the effort you've made in your garden, but also in the garden of your body and your soul. Let's breathe in, arms rise up, and exhale. Breath in and out. One more breath in. As you breathe out, bring your hands into the chest prayer pose. Soften shoulders, tuck the chin in. Feel that expansion through your body. Softness as you breathe out. Acknowledge. 
acknowledging your effort and I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in another class again real soon. Namaste.